What's going on guys? It's Venomous Fat Man here and I got a brand new OTGT for you. This time I'm talking about the PSN being down. This is pretty much the biggest news right now for over the past couple days since this has been going on. So here's the deal. Pretty much some rumors were going around saying that it was probably some of the earthquake stuff that's been going on in Japan. Some people are saying that it's hackers. The hackers, uh, what is it, anonymous? You know, that with the whole Sony and Geohawk case and their views on it and their kind of, you know, exhibitions and stuff. But here's the clear cut deal, at least from what they're saying on the PlayStation blog they're saying that it was due to an external intrusion to the PlayStation Network so they shut it down and are doing frantic maintenance on it and they don't know at the moment how long it's gonna be before the PSN goes back up so here's my two cents on this whole thing even though I don't own a PlayStation 3 and you guys know that I've said that I owned an Xbox for the first time you know for the longest but I'm looking to get a PlayStation 3, and I know a bunch of people that have a PlayStation 3, and they're going absolutely bonkers right now because they can't play a lot of their latest games that they've bought online. And here's my whole point on it. It sucks for us gamers that we're kind of caught in the crossfire of this whole thing, whether it's a bunch, whether it's actually anonymous or not, or it's a bunch of like rogue hackers of anonymous or something, and actually, and their what is it? Their whole little battle, their cyber terrorism acts against Sony and stuff. It sucks for us because the common gamer has there's nothing that we could pretty much do about it i mean a lot of us has spent already maybe about 60 if not more dollars on games that came out just on this week alone because we had big three oh, what is it three big releases this week alone we have portal 2 we had socom 4 and we have mortal kombat so all those games at some point people want to be playing online people want to be playing online right now if anything i have a buddy of mine torrence davis on the bit bag he's been dying to play socom 4 online but he can't so he had to settle for the single player as good as it was he said but my point is is that from sony even though I understand you're saying that it was an external intrusion, you know, and you don't know when the PSN is going to be up, I feel like we should get something much more concrete from you, something a little bit much more specific and something to actually put everybody down at ease. I know that's traditional PR talk saying, you know, you don't know what's going on, but you're handling the situation, but tell us something a little bit more. Maybe something a little more specific of what type of intrusion it was, what the person was trying to do and stuff. And maybe we could actually be a little bit much more calm and actually you could probably give us a much better time frame of when the PSN is going to be up. Because just saying that you don't know when it's, gonna, when it's going to be up is pretty much sad and it kind of sucks because now people are thinking like, oh my God, you know, right now I could be playing this game online on Xbox Live. You know, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people doing saying something like that. Now, I know N4G is going crazy over this whole fiasco because apparently all those people that run that site are pretty much Xbox in their own rights. But that's what pe only people say. I don't know and I don't care. But my main point is this. I hope this settle this matter gets settled really quickly because I don't want this to still be going on or at least, you know, have, uh, give Sony an excuse to have people pay for their service by the time I get a PlayStation 3 because then I would be pretty pissed myself. But... Aside from that, this needs to be settled. Sony, you actually need to come out and actually say something a little bit better than what you've said so far because there's still just way too many questions unanswered uh, from us that we need answered. Okay, because a lot of people have spent money on games, have bought a lot of new games within the past couple of days, and they really want to get online and play them. So, anyway... Let's hope this kind of thing to kind of dies down within the next like day or so. I hope it doesn't go any much more beyond that. If it does, that is be really bad for a lot of people. But that's my two cents on it. Leave your comments and video responses, guys. I don't mind. Just keep it civil. Let me know what you guys think of this whole matter. If you're upset that the PSN is down or you really don't care about the PSN being down, or if you're an X-Bot and you're kind of like leaping for joy and jumping for joy that PSN is getting their own share of problems. You know, put it in the comment section below. Get a good discussion going. Just keep it civil or we'll go around and start deleting comments, okay? Just throwing that out there for you guys. But anyway, talk about it in the, in the comment section below, and I'll talk to you guys again soon, okay? Venomous Fat Man is gone, and that, my friends, was only the goddamn truth. I'll talk to you all later, people.